Alright, this is the Summer Solstice rating. It's Embrace Your Radiance. I feel like this needs to be done now instead of um, on the 21st so that everybody's aware of what's going on. But, um, yeah, so that's yeah, a fun one. So we have the Strawberry Fizz. We have Minty. And we have the Candy Baby one. So... Pick whichever one resonates for you, or whichever one you like the most. I, I, I already picked mine. I was a little bit surprised by the cards, but uh, I'll get over it. Anyway, so let's start off with group one, and then we'll get to the other groups. Alright, so, Strawberry Fizzy. Alright, so, we have, what is the sun? Uh, emitting for you we have the chariot so it's fame and achievements so mostly at work for some of you um, so stops at nothing to make his or her dreams come true um, a commitment to a goal or um, and not to get sidetracked there's no time for doubts continue forward and uh, fierce determination and don't let anything stand in your way so um, yeah you're going full forward so I feel like it's a good time to uh, try to get some extra work done maybe a little bit of overtime if it's possible and uh, yeah for summer you know <laughs> it's like it's right around the corner literally so um, yeah it's better to get work done while it's a little bit cooler. Um, I feel like in some places it might be like a hundred already, but I feel like if you're in, um, you know, a, a place where you can work constantly, I feel like this would be the time to actually get extra things done. Okay. So, all right. We have what energy are you currently radiating out into the universe? So let's see, we have the nine of cups. The Nine of Cups is a family, friends, love. So congratulations on your wishes being granted. Your lucky stars are aligning and things are finally falling into place. It's time to enjoy yourself and appreciate the magic in your life. If only you could bottle these feelings. So it's kind of like that um, potion that's... Harry Potter gets, um, I think it's like Felis, um, something or other, it's that Felis one, it's the gold one, it makes you crazy good, it almost makes you look like you're on Adderall. Anyway, so what does your soul need to release into the sun? We have the Ace of Swords, so Strife and Logic a major eureka moment if you're feeling, uh, uh, say, if you're feeling inspired, uh, run with it. This is time for mental breakthroughs and revolutionary clear insight. Make sure that you jot down all your brilliant ideas. So there's, there's probably a lot of ideas that you can't do yourself. So. You might be giving them back to the universe so somebody else can use them. Or you might already have had those ideas and gotten what you needed out of the ideas that you had. So you're ready for some new ones. So, fun stuff. Anyway, so we have, how can you use the medicine of the sun for your growth? We have <laughs> strength. So strength, uh, courage, and, uh, you know, inner strength, so. Let's see, strength isn't just about brute force, it's about having self-control and a sense of know when to be firm and when to lead with compassion. Don't try to use force to get your way. You'll be more successful if you lead by example and stay kind. So there, there might be a moment of kind of taking your medicine, literally. So it's, um, you know, just finding out what's a good balance for you. 
Okay, so what will manifest in the summer solstice intentions over the next three months? So we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is finance and health, so working hard to learn new skills. Uh, you'll perfect your craft through careful uh, reputation and attention to detail. Tasks will be easier for you and more often you practice. Keep going. So there might be something that you're trying to master. There might be something that is kind of becoming more routine for you. I don't feel like that's a bad thing. I feel like it's a much needed thing in order for, to, you know, get you into the rhythm of work and then get you into the rhythm of slowing down after work. So there's that. So we have a learning center. We have a new workplace policy. We have strong opinions, a successful marriage, reaching your highest potential, a job interview, winning uh, abundance. So there's something that you're winning here or a change or something new that's coming to you. So there, there's a, there's a great many things that it could be. All right. So group one, that was your reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it and it gave you kind of a heads up of what to expect on the 21st. Um, I feel like it's a little ways off, but I'm sure that, um, you can make decisions that would help you, you know, just move on through to the next, uh, chapter of this year, which is summer in general. <laughs> I don't particularly like summer because it's when mosquitoes are out and I get sunburned and I peel like a banana. But, um, yeah, it's, I guess it's good for some people. It's fun for a lot of people that want to go to the pool this year. So, you know, anyway, I will see you in the next reading. All right. Later. We have Minty. So, let's see what the Mint group has. We have what the uh, sun is illuminating for you. We have the Ten of Swords. Um, the Ten of Swords is strife and logic. Something is coming to a painful end, whether um, it refers to a friendship, a relationship, a project, or a job. May, may be left to heavy emotions. Give yourself time to grief, but trust that it's for the best. Fresh beginnings are ahead. So there's probably been a letting go of a job or something, but yeah, I feel like it's a new chapter in overall wellness and what you will get this year but it's it might take time okay it's going from the bottom and then uh like a drake song now we're here um so yeah it is what it is so let's see your uh what energy will continuously radiate out of the universe or what you you will radiate out to the universe. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So we have love, family, relationships. So uh, sulky, gloomy, and brooding. This is often caused by great disappointment. Take time to really think about your options before acting upon them. Relationships can be sticky when decisions are made emotionally rather than logically. So there's, there's that. Some people think with their heart, not their head, and you know, it leads to a lot of problems. So just uh, keep your wits about you. I, f I feel like it's necessary. And then we have number three. What does your soul need you to release into the sun? We have the temperance in reverse. So peace and happiness... If life is feeling a little bit hectic, it's time to bring back 
Um, and to balance, pay attention to areas of your life that may be a little bit neglected. A recipe for success requires a pinch of salt and self-reflection. Um, and maybe a dash of temperance also. Um, so stir thoroughly and enjoy. Okay, so let's see. We also have... How can you use the medicine of the sun for your own growth? We have the Hermit in Reverse. The Hermit in Reverse is, um, are you feeling overwhelmed or aimless? If, if you need direction, look within. You have answers you need to find them. Make time for yourself. Getting away from the hustle and bustle of daily life will bring you much needed clarity. So there could be a bit of a new direction coming or a or maybe a self-care day. Some people, you know, you just need to be by yourself sometimes. Um so there could be a lot going on right now. So take that time to um, be by yourself, uh, reevaluate everything, and try to figure out where you want to be. I feel like that's um, it's kind of more like self, you know, consciously manifesting. But I feel like some people just need to believe that it's possible and that it's possible. So okay, so. What will manifest from the summer solstice intentions over the uh, three months? So we have the Two of Cups. So it's love, family, and relationships. So you're in complete harmony with somebody special in your life, whether it is work-related, partnership-related, or romantic or friendship-related. So... Um, positive for you both be sure to be supportive of each other major growth with potential transformation etc so there's there's a lot of different things happening so you're growing closer due to adversity so this could be with a person that you're dating or a person that you're like enemies with but you might be on the same side so it's like might as well be friends, like, you know, there's no reason not to, so, um, you might actually start being friends with somebody that you dislike, you know, because of similarities, okay, anyway, group two, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form, I know some, some of my readings are scattered, but I do channel stuff before the readings, I don't want to give too much away, so, you know, some people have the channeled readings for their own use, and other people are kind of like the generic um, readings so that they can clarify what's happening in their own life. So I feel like that's like that for you. I feel like you're just getting um, things back into balance in your life, which isn't, which isn't bad. I feel like I kind of need to find my bearings when I'm, you know, out and about sometimes too. So anyway. I will see you in the next reading group too. Hopefully this helped you out and you enjoy the summer solstice on the 21st. Um, it's always fun. It's always something new. Anyway, later. And then we have candy. And we have a dog barking. Fun. Okay, so... We have... What is the sun illuminating for you? We have the death card in reverse. So life-changing decisions. You are putting off a life-changing decision of some kind. Resisting change in a possible or will only cause harm in the long run. Letting go of a familiar thing in order to... Gain something else in a tra transition could be tough for some. Make way for the positive, fresh new beginning. Usually with the death card, it's just uh, 
getting you ready for like major changes or good things. If you deny it, you kind of deny people coming into your life which could have the potential of a romantic or a career-based op option that you probably didn't think of. It's kind of like Destiny saying, hey, move out of the way, like, we're coming through. But, you know, it's, it's up to you whether you want to receive it or not, okay? So, what energy are you currently radiating out into the universe? We have the Empress. The Empress is parenthood, so... This is a calling for compassion, being patient, kind of, kind with yourself and others, with, um, will get you further than another approach. Now is a great time to nurture and indulge in your creative impulses, and staying grateful and helpful to keep a positive and healthy outlook for everyone. So I feel like there, there might be a point where you might kind of feel groggy, you might not feel 100%, and you might be a little bit uncomfortable, but I feel like in order to keep your own sanity, you kind of had to be nice to somebody else so it doesn't trigger you in any way, and it just keeps the peace, you know, you kind of had to deal with people that have different views from you, and you had to deal with people that have different, um, you know, things than you do. They might have entirely different um, new age things that are kind of, you know, might be a little bit much. Okay, so let's see. Um, what does your soul need to release into the sun? <coughs> Ooh, alright, so Queen of Wands. Work and business, clever, confident person with. A strong independent streak. Used to be the center of attention. She's popular, inspiring leader who brings out the best in everyone, bringing optimism into any project or situation will indoctrinate into the energies that is needed for success. Yay. So, like, this could be you or somebody else, but, like, it's somebody who's very, very, like, selfless in their actions. Okay, so, um, hopefully it's you, but if it's not, then you're gonna be very envious of this said person. Okay, so let's see. We have, how can you use the medicine of the sun for your growth. We have the page of wands in reverse. So let's see, work and business, dealing with disappointment and frustration. He put a lot of energy and time into something that uh, put a lot of energy into things that haven't gone according to plan. Uh, don't clip your own wings or give up on your dreams. Instead, uh, strategize and try new approaches. So there could be... Uh, that's, that's a hard one, but I, I feel like there is a different approach that's needed or a different invention, a different method that needs to be talked about or put into that situation. Alright, so there's something in your life that needs a different approach. Alright, so we have what will manifest the summer solstice intentions over the next three months. We have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is in reverse. It usually talks about work and business. It's time to embrace change. Transformation is a good thing and it's inevitable. Fighting uh, progress won't get you anywhere, so move forward with an open mind. Who knows? Uh, accepting a new way of life will lead you to discovering a perfect outlet for your genius. 
So this could be a beauty brand or a success in branding. So if you're like me and you know nothing about branding because you didn't take DECA, um, you might need to find a friend. But um, as far as things are concerned, I feel like it's just going to be a new lesson that you're going to learn new thing that you're going to be introduced to, or something that you need to learn about, maybe, you know, take some educational courses, or actually kind of read up on it. You might need to go to Barnes & Noble's Books A Million, um, Borders, whatever, and find, like, a book for entrepreneurial uh, marketing. Uh, stuff like that's usually, like, really to the point of everything, so it'll be... A different approach but it will get to the point very easily anyway um group three hopefully this helps you out in some way shape or form good luck on your beauty brand i know if you're interested in my beauty brand stuff it's skincare it's not beauty brand i have clay i also have uh, lotions and i do have chapstick i have it mm, spread out between a lot of my other platforms my other platforms have sold out so you know it, it is what it is anyway so i will see you in the next video right later